for my dream to go to Mars. And I think people who have inhabited Mars before probably was our home planet. Probably have colonized countless planets beforehand. With each dying out of passing generations. Actually passing on secrets to help the next one survive. So Mars, Mars is very interesting. It actually has two things wrong with it. The second part will actually have to be addressed later because I've actually researched the problem too much or actually thought about it because I feel like we should focus on this planet first, but we should also focus on colonizing nearby and distant planets. And that's the fact that Earth, uh, Mars, I almost said Earth, Mars' magnetic field is non existent or very, very low. Earth has one and it provides protection as it's spinning from combined with ozone layer, from UV radiation, or other harmful sun rays that would actually destroy us. You know, it's one of the problems we're also running into not the magnetic field, but the ozone layer having a hole in it, which could have actually destroyed Mars's magnetic layer. But another interesting thing Mars used to be abundant with water, it was probably lost. It was most likely lost in space. There's through a hole in ozone, which could also happen here on Earth. We're probably losing millions of liters of water. I'm not a scientist. I don't have any instruments to actually say how much we're losing, but we're probably losing water as it evaporates in the molecules, you know, hydrogen and oxygen. Molecules actually escape through the hole in the ozone, but Mars actually has frozen CO2. We're actually running into a global warming or a CO2 problem. CO2 or frozen liquid solid CO2 is actually dry ice. So, all our SS CO2, we capture it. We store it as dry ice in an underground cavern or in ice pockets in the Arctic to actually help with the cooling down of the Arctic while also having a place to store it. So that's my idea. Store SSCO2 as dry ice and store it at the Arctic which will help lower temperatures and preserve our ice sheets which actually house a lot of CO2 and methane and other gases which is very important and probably what technologically advanced civilizations did in the past to make planets livable so there you go